Hi, I'm Nick Bellissimo, and I'm an Associate Professor of Nutritional Physiology and Director of the Nutrition Discovery Labs at Ryerson University. I'm Christy Brissett, and I'm a registered dietitian with a Master's in Nutritional Sciences. I counsel clients, and I write for some of the top magazines and newspapers in North America. Do you have questions about sugars and sweeteners? You're not alone. It can be really confusing out there with all of the conflicting media coverage as well as latest research constantly changing our minds about sugars. So what we did is we took to Google and took a look at your most burning questions about sugars. And we're going to do our best to answer them for you today. Our final question, how much sugar is too much? So this all depends on an individual's specific energy needs. For example, if you work all day at a desk and then go home and sit in front of the screen all evening, you're not burning much energy. So you really should be consuming fewer calories and not just from sugar. On the other hand, if you are active um, or have a physically demanding job, you should be consuming additional calories from a variety of food sources to keep your energy levels up. And we know that carbohydrates are really important for exercise. And as your exercise intensity increases, so will your reliance on carbohydrates. We hope we answered some of your top questions about sugars and made you think twice about some of the answers. And thanks again for joining us.